Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create an edit text field in a dialog box something like this and get the contents of this edit text field to a string so let's start this in sketchware now sketchware in here I already have a project and in this project I will create an edit uh, dialog box with edit text field which will be displayed on button click the button here is button 1 and here I also have a text view one so let's move to logic area first add a dialog component remember the name of the dialog component here it is dialog one in my case you can name it as anything now on button click or on the event in which you want to display the dialog just add these blocks dialog set title set message then OK button click and you can use other buttons also after this set some title to, for your dialog like here in my case it will be exit and the message like enter the password to exit okay now we have set the message after the ok button just name it as exit or anything else which you want after this use an add source directly block just below the dialog set message and in this block for creating a new edit text field write uh, final and then the type of value you want to add like edit text so here you have to write final then edit text then give some name to this edit text field like input and then write equals and after this write new and then again the type of field you are adding which is edit text remember this type edit text has E capital and T capital after this add a bracket and write name of the activity here it is main activity in my case and after this write dot this and close the bracket and put a semicolon now here we have created an edit text field with name input after this create a layout param for this write linear layout dot layout params I will just copy this because this will be used again and again now give some name to the layout param like I am giving it L par again write equal to then new then again write linear layout dot layout params then put a bracket and inside this bracket write linear layout dot layout params dot match parent match underscore parent in capitals then put a colon now copy this whole thing and after put a comma after match parent and then give some space and again paste the same thing which is linear layout dot layout parents dot match parent so this will define the height and width of the layout parent which is match parent now after this set layout parents for the edit text field now name of the edit text field is input so write input dot set layout params and then in bracket write name of the layout param which is l par 
and put a semicolon. Now in next line, set the view of the dialog box to this edit text field. So for this, write name of the dialog, which is dialog one dot set view and in bracket write name of edit text field which is input and then close the bracket and put a semicolon and that's all now let's check this Now here we have an edit text field in which we can enter anything but let's use the contents of this edit text field. For this we need a new string variable. So here I have already added a string variable and name of the string variable is string. So here we will use another add source directly block and when this button is clicked we will set this string whose name is this is type string and then name of the string which is again string equal to now we will get the contents of the field name of the field is input so we will write input dot get text and put brackets here and after this add a plus symbol and then these two quotes and after this a semicolon and that's all now save this now the contents will be saved to this string string variable string so now we can use it anywhere now since I want to check if the string is password or not so just I will use if then equals to sign and then if string equals 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 then finish activity else dismiss so if the user enters password 1 2 3 4 then it will exit otherwise it will not do anything so let's check this Now suppose I enter a wrong password and click on exit, nothing happens. But if I enter the right password 1234 and click on exit, it exits the app. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.